Hey guys, this is Michael, and today I have a new tutorial for you guys. This one is going to be how to create your own custom Facebook timeline cover image. And if you're wondering where the web series tutorial went, I haven't forgot about it. Don't worry, I'm still in the process of figuring some of that stuff out, but that'll be the next tutorial. But the next video will probably be a speed art, and we're looking to do a Black Ops 2 wallpaper for all of you to do a nice giveaway. So stay tuned for that. So let's hop into this. Our canvas size is going to be 851 by 315 and I have my resolution at 300 dpi. That's just my preference. So you're going to want to make that canvas, then go into our base layer, add a gradient, opacity at 20, and multiply. And also I'm using the background color of E0, E0, E0. You can use any color you want. Then I'm also just going to add a nice pattern overlay. I set mine on multiply and then I get a nice grunge pattern. And you can use any grunge you want, just don't do anything too grungy, just something subtle, but it creates a nice concrete type grunge effect. So now we're going to need some text. Now the text color I'm using is FF4242. I'm using Babis font, size 36, and then, not 36, we're going to bring that down a little bit. We'll do size 18. That's even a little bit too big, so we'll do size 14. Michael N. And you want to make sure everything on here is pretty big just so it takes up some room so it's not too small in your cover. So then we're going to go into the layer style of this. Go to gradient, multiply, 30%. Go to drop shadow, size of 1, distance, I mean distance of 1, size of 3, and opacity at 50. Perfect. Then go to some text. This color, we're going to be doing it white. And the size on this, we're going to bring it down to, we'll do size, yep, do size 3. And then we're just going to type in the Facebook URL of your page, so your name. And then after you have this done, you're going to want to go to your text option over here and just spread it out. So this is probably going to have to be around 400 spread under the character options. And you're just going to want to get that perfect. I'm just going to keep it like this for time's sake. Then just go into the layer styles. We're just going to put a nice drop shadow. Distance of 1. Size of 3. Do the opacity at 50. Gradient. Just keep it on normal. Put it on 20. Perfect. Now we're going to go to our rectangle tool. Keep that same red color. We're going to make some nice rectangular social media link boxes. Just about that size. Rasterize. Control J, duplicate it, Control J, we'll duplicate it again, perfect, go into the layer styles. Drop shadow, the same, we're going to do one, size of three, I'm keeping this consistent throughout this if you haven't noticed, opacity at 50%, gradient, multiply, and opacity on that, 20. Then you're just going to right click on this, copy layer style, paste it on the other two, those look really good. Now we're going to go to some more text. These we're going to want white. For the size, we'll do size 6. And then just put in your Twitter link. You might have to bring this down a little bit. And you're going to take the spread down a little bit. So just put a nice Twitter link in here. Maybe make the font a little bit smaller. Not by much, though. Just con control J that. Then put your portfolio link right here. Now, if you don't know, you're going to want to have your URL right here. I'm just putting this in because I don't really know what URL to put for this tutorial. So just put a URL. So it would be like twitter.com slash your Twitter account right in that spot. And the last one, we're just going to put your website or your blog, anything you want. Awesome. Then we're just going to apply a simple drop shadow. One, three. This opacity, we're only going to do 30. And then for our gradient, we're going to bring that to 20. And we're just going to copy that layer style and just paste in our two text layers. Okay, that looks looking really good. Now we're just going to go to our rectangle tool again, make a new layer, and we're going to make a rectangle for our images. Rasterize that. Now we're just going to click Control J and just rotate this one a little bit. Bring it on over here. Looking good. Control J it again. Bring this one over a little bit more like that. Make sure it's under those two layers. This is all your preference on these. Control J that. 
tilt it this way a little bit put that right down here in the center then go into the layer styles drop shadow distance of 2 keep the size at 5 bring the opacity down to 60 gradient opacity at 20 and then go to your gradient style and drag it down to 70 percent looks good copy that paste it on the other three that's looking really good I'm just gonna keep those the way it is you can always adjust them to your liking just drag them on over here now as you see on my original I do have this red right here that's just for the image so all you want to do is just go right to your where the heck did my document go right here just go to create clipping mask on top of this and then you can just drag your image into that layer so the next thing we're gonna do is just create some simple rectangle bars so create a new layer we're gonna want a mid gray just rasterize that right click rasterize and then hold shift and rotate this till it locks right there Then set the blend mode to overlay for these the opacity in this corner is gonna be at 50 then just drag it down control J hold shift drag it up Control J, hold shift, drag it up, awesome. Now highlight all three of those layers, right click, duplicate, okay. Drag these to the top corner up here. The opacity on these, we're gonna bring it down to 30 so they're just faintly there. And that's pretty much all you're gonna have on here. Now if you want to adjust anything, one thing I would suggest is maybe just making your photos a little bit bigger or adding like a background image, just slightly faded in the background. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's been really fun making this. And I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial, and the next video will probably be a speed art. And then we'll re resume the tutorial series that I know you guys have been waiting for. So please like this video, leave a comment what you'd like to see. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed. See y'all later. Peace.